everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today is special we are on the way to see how to run Dawn of Zombies on PC, from now you are able to watch it on screen. It takes almost no time to efficiently download and install Dawn of Zombies so that we can enjoy playing this game on the Windows PC with gamer keyboard if we want to, mouse and large monitor. Then without further ado, let's go buddies. Before anything else folks, to get started we need to launch our favorite internet browser. We have here the one we use by default. Let's continue, going to that URL that I have highlighted in green color. There you are seeing it on the screen. There is no need to type it, simply because I provided a link in the description of this video and the first main comment. We arrived here on our internet site of Usatility, at which we have a precise description on the way to download and install Dawn of Zombies on laptop or computer. We browse down a bit and just click on the, download game on PC, button. After clicking on the link, we reach the site of LD Player, which the Android emulator that we will load to get access to that game Dawn of Zombies on PC. It is now obvious that we have a number of advantages of preferring the emulator, custom controls, multiple instances, instance synchronization, macros, scripts, high FPS, etc. Then, we will proceed to download the Dawn of Zombies by simply clicking on this button download Dawn of Zombies on PC that you can visualize here in green color. We then click on it. Of course, the download starts and ends immediately. Voila, here is located the download. It's a file we have to execute. What we have to do is to launch the executable file, OK, then we need to click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make changes to the system. We click yes. I reduce the browser to view the installation software considerably better. The installation software is really simple. It includes two possibilities, install and setup path. I will explain what setup path does indeed. We simply click it. Therefore we see that we get here the path where the emulator can be placed. If we want to vary this directory we have to click on that, browse, option, and we opt for another directory and install the emulator specifically where we like. To keep it simple, just keep it by default. I simply click back. Therefore I click on install. At this moment, before starting the installation of that emulator, will also be possible that it will suggest us one or more application packages to put on on our desktop or laptop. As I do not want to have any of these software programs, I just simply click each time on the reject option. Fantastic! The installation starts and it's going to progress in the download of these MB that are shown on our screen. At the time you download it, it might possibly be more or less MB. The data transfer speed can be at a higher speed or at a lower speed, depending on your internet and according to the speed capacity of the emulator web servers. Today they are working super fast. The download is has been successful, and at this time it continues with the setup procedure. The installation will need more or less time based on the strength of your PC, the more efficient it is, the shorter the software installation time and vice versa. If we integrate the download and install stage it will take quite a long time, so show patience. It has now completely finished on my side. At this time, the emulator has been launched immediately. As you can see now, down here, there is a progress bar which will move forward to the right and when it has reached the finish, the emulator will be started for the first time. The fact is that the emulator has already been launched, here for the very first time. And consequently LD Store is automatically launched, that is a sort of Google Play. This is not the best way to set up the video game, and I really don't recommend it, basically because in certain cases the LD Store puts an out-of-date version of the Android game. I am about to explain to you tips on how to set up the Android game by utilizing the Google Play I recommend you to do it this way. The very first thing we must perform is to head to the computer's desktop by clicking on this software icon that I am indicating in green color. Before we keep going, as you can see, it made two app icons right here on the PC desktop. The LD Player and LD Multiplayer. Note that the LD Player software icon is the one we're interested in. Anytime we have to operate Dawn of Zombies on the PC, we twice mouse click on that app icon and launch the emulator. The LD Multiplayer app icon has nothing to do with multiplayer or even anything like this. In fact, it's a software icon that we would probably never start using. Let me do the next step, which is actually a must have, and this is to access the Google Play Store. To execute this we will browse here to, system apps, we click on. And we are going to click on Play Store. As you understand the Google Play is launched. There we must log on. Currently when we are right here, we must definitely do this next step that is absolutely mandatory. Therefore click on, sign in. At present it says, checking info. 
It may in some cases get stopped at checking info, additionally it does not progress. In this case, you can try to connect to your account after a number of hours and it may probably be resolved. At present we are going to type in our email and password. The email needs to be a Gmail email as well as its associated password. For example you make use of the same email you're using at this time in your own YouTube account. Therefore I will type in my details and I will come back after I have completed it. That's all, data inserted. And here is Google welcoming us and presenting us the twos. We are going to approve them all by just clicking on, I agree. Then, it offers us to back up to the Google Cloud. You might keep it selected and it will build a backup of your data files on that device to Google Drive. I will not check it, you do what you want. We just click on accept. From now Google Play is launched as favorite choice and immediately. In case that the Google Play is simply not launched instantly and you do not know how to run it by yourself, I assist you how to achieve it. The first thing is to head to the emulator desktop by simply clicking this software icon designated in green. Presently we go to the system apps folder. And we click the Play Store icon. OK, we're there inside of Google Play. What we shall do will be go here to, search for apps and games. And then we are going to look for Dawn of Zombies. So there we get it. We should click on the very first result. At this point we have the video game. Let's quickly mouse click now on the, install, button that I am just highlighting now in green color. This will start the setup. At this time it is going to download on your PC and set up the game, it could take a bit of time or perhaps it could be almost immediate. It all relies on our own internet access. It's actually ended setting up. Back to the emulator desktop by clicking on that option I'm emphasizing in green, in order to start Dawn of Zombies for the first time. You are at present on the emulator desktop, then we're preparing to simply click that new Dawn of Zombies app icon that has been generated. Your game is launched for the first time. So there we have it, I could click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to comment on the volume of this emulator. This is right here, we have the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume, this way we are not going to use the windows volume to increase or decrease the audio of your emulator. As well as to enjoy the experience to the max, we should activate the large monitor, for which we have two choices. That is the first one, we mouse click on that software icon that I am pointing out in green color. Then the screen is maximized, getting one border on top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. If ever we want to appreciate the app using all the screen, we select this particular icon. And as a result we would by now be experiencing the Android game in full screen setting. To exit the 100% screen functionality, hit the F11 key. And we might by now end up being in standard display screen mode. From now, I am going to reveal you the keys mapping and that is definitely very cool. That way we may be ready to use the game much more effortlessly. The first task is to mouse click this software icon. And at this time there you will be able to make the appropriate controls. I am going to put the default settings, though if you need to change this, you can do this without having problem. I have this opportunity to comment that once in a while, when commencing the Android game a black screen comes out, if this is like that and you get the black display and the emulator does not launch, I suggest a doable technique. We should go here, to the cogwheel. In your emulator options, in the advanced option we have got a large number of resolutions. This is the pixel quality that we have at the moment specified as favorite choice and we must choose any of these other screen resolutions, for example this particular one listed below. We opt for it and click on save. It will certainly ask us to reboot the emulator and when rebooted, most probably the emulator will get started and the black display screen will be completely removed. Obviously, the emulator is completely in our language. Once in a while it occurs that your emulator is launched in the improper language, for example, in Japanese. And as a result to set it in the correct language we click here to the cogwheel. And thus here within various other controls, we click on the, language, drop down. We should choose the language we prefer, German, Chinese, and so forth. Once the language is selected, we could save, the emulator would reboot, as well as the game application, the next time we launch it, will as well be in the opted for language. Presently, there is another aspect that we need to take into consideration, and it is that we will get a message from Gmail telling that a different electronic device has been connected to this Google account. It will likely ask us if we are the individuals who have associated with that device. That's right, we must not be troubled, considering that the emulator is emulating an Android smartphone or tablet. And in order to see which electronic device is currently being emulated, we visit right here, to the cogwheel and we just click on it. So we go here to the, model, option, 
And then we realize that the emulator is simulating a Samsung cell phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for this video tutorial. I sincerely hope you liked it, specifically that you thought it was interesting. In this case, give it a pleasant like, subscribe, and I will be happy to answer your feedback, issues or suggestions, put them in the comment field down below. You can even comment things on my Twitch channel, I do live streams occasionally, you get it down below in the video description and in the initial pinned comment. Simply click on any of the video tutorials which are usually appearing on the list of videos to watch and see you in the future video tutorials. Bye.